It is about 10 past 7 in the morning and I'm just outside of Bruges as planned, which is great. I mean, I'm not even up that early, it's 10 past 7, but in the UK right now it's 10 past 6, so it is quite early for me. But yeah, it's actually really nice. I woke up about 10 minutes ago at 7 o'clock with the sound of a really, really tuneful, beautiful sounding church bells. It's brilliant. It's so, so cool. But yeah, I'm quite keen to pack up and go really because I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to be camped here or parked where I'm parked. So, yeah, let's do it. So, I think it's about quarter past eight now. And you can see, maybe, maybe you can see, it's starting to get a bit lighter. You know, update on the finger. When I woke up this morning, I actually felt much, much better. Like, last night it was actually getting quite painful. But I think sleep really, really helped. It's still really tender and packing up my gear took a lot longer than it normally does just because I had to do everything just super carefully. But yeah, so I'm going to head that way, I think, into Bruges and get myself some breakfast. Yeah. All right, here we are in Bruges. Let's go check it out. Bruges, it's been great. Breakfast was really good and just such a beautiful city. So nice. All right, let's go. I think I haven't actually explained what I'm doing yet. So, two days ago, I was in Bristol. I drove across the country and got to just between Canterbury and Dover, which is where I slept the night. Next morning, I woke up, cut my finger, went to A&E in Canterbury. Then I caught my ferry last night from Dover across to Dunkirk and I drove from Dunkirk all the way to the outskirts of Bruges where I found a forest to sleep in which is where this episode started this morning and then the plan for today I'm not entirely sure which route to take yet but yeah basically tomorrow lunchtime I have to be in Basel which is on the German, French and Swiss border it's like right where all those borders meet and my brother Danny my sister-in-law and me and my niece Senna are all arriving tomorrow lunchtime and I'm gonna pick them up. Hence why I have a, oh you can't even see, baby seat in the back. So yeah, that's the plan. And then from, from Basel, the four of us will drive down through Switzerland to an area called Valley, which is where we've rented a chalet in the mountains and that's where we're gonna spend Christmas as a family. So really just super looking forward to that. So that's the plan. But yeah, I've probably got like five or six hour drive to do today, so I need to get to it. Goodbye, Bruges. Just approaching the border now. Over to Luxembourg. Okay, so here we are, and I'm just in the middle of a really big, big forest in Germany somewhere, and it's absolutely quiet. Can't hear any roads, can't hear anything. Yep, what I'm gonna do now is get things together for my dinner. I need to redress my finger tonight, and obviously just set up my gear and, uh, and go to bed. All right, so I think I found my spot now. So just gonna quickly set up my tarp uh, and then move my fire. All right, so here, I've just basically split some, um, some beach because all the wood around here is just absolutely sodden. Good job on changing this, uh, this dressing because it's uh, pretty dirty now. Anyway, yeah, so I split all these um, beach logs. Basically what I do is, is make like a small raft on top of these two. Well, this is a technique I've used a few times before. It seems to work quite, quite well. 
And actually right now I'm right beneath the tarp. So no, uh, you know, these aren't getting any wetter, which is great. Basically what I'm gonna do is just build a small fire on this and then carry it across to where my fire actually is, like over there. Okay. So I've created these kind of feather, feather stick kind of tinders here, which are gonna help start my fire. So that's the theory anyway, let's give it a go. Attempt to move this now, which might be my downfall. That actually worked. This is actually where I want my fire to be, out in the open. Just kind of let that establish now. All right, so the fire is burning nicely away over there. And I've actually just um, put some water on to the like not boil but just slightly warm up because I need to redress my finger. I think I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. Oh, that's hot. Quite curious to see what my cut looks like now. It does feel much better actually, which is good. So there's the new stuff on the side that I need to put on it. So I'm just going to really carefully take this off. Yeah, they said this would happen. It's like turning like glue. You can see where the cut was. It was like all the way, all the way wrapped around like that. So I don't know what this stuff was called, but basically like turns really solid. I guess it just like seals the wound or something. But she said, if I just soak it in warm water, then she'll be able to just take this gunky stuff off. Oh, it does feel weird. It does feel weird. Oh, it's starting to come off now. <laughs> That's kind of bulging in a weird way. That's good though, I feel like that's looking good. That is a real slice. Real slice. You can see it goes like halfway into my finger there and then just all the way around. Ah, oh, what did I even do? Oh man, that is really like, that is still a real, a real wound. This is the magic stuff that they put on. It's like weird gluey stuff. Oh yeah. So it just needs to do that. All right, and then I put the gauze on. I remember now. Just wrap that round once, and then this like. Oh, it's tender. It's so tender. Yeah, that wraps on, and then this one wraps over the top. Ah. Oh. There we are, newly dressed. Brilliant. All right, and I'm gonna put a glove on to protect this now. All right, so I got my finger all sorted out. While I was doing that, my dinner was just cooking here on the fire. I don't think it's quite ready yet, but here I've got just red peppers and potatoes cooking, just boiling in water. And then down here, baked beans with sausages in it, which is a bit unglamorous, I know but it's quite straightforward and simple to cook, really, I'd say. Right, let's test it. Ah, you poo. Yeah, that's done. Brilliant. So I think I'm just gonna eat my dinner now, chill out for a bit and then head to bed. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow.